Hello everyone. Today I am going to share my interview experience at Grindmaster Machine Private Limited. So let's begin with the introduction of the company. Grindmaster was founded by Mr. Milind Kirkar and Mrs. Mohini Kirkar. Grindmaster is a global technology leader in specialized turnkey machines for metal finishing, deburring, micro finishing, robotic machines, and abrasives. It has over 5,500 machines serving a wide range of industries worldwide. It has an experience of over 35 years in machine building and process knowledge. Uh, it has four basic types of machines, the four core types of machines. Uh, the first one is micro finishing machines. The next is deburring machines. The third is metal finishing machines and the final robotics and automation. The customers that Grindmaster caters to are Ashok Leyland, Bharat Gears Limited, Bharat Forge, Butterfly, Bosch, Delphi, TVS, Kinetic Group, Yamaha, Toshiba, Tata, Honda, Nirlep, Hero, HAL, Great Wall China, Bajaj, Vipro, John Deere, Hawkins, Sona, Mahindra, Bell, Precision Camshaft Limited and Jindal Group and many more. So now let's go towards the interview part. Now the first round was uh, of online MCQ. The online test consisted of very basic questions related to physics and mechanics of bodies, moment of inertia, train problems, etc. This was followed by subjective depth test with 15 questions. The questions were from core mechanical uh, and some aptitude as well. By aptitude, I mean probability, permutations and combinations, etc. So the core core mechanical questions uh, consisted of uh, what are the types of bearings, what is normalizing, what is heat treatment, what are the casting processes, uh, what are different types of deburring processes, and so on and so forth. So this was followed by technical interview. Now questions were pretty basic such as uh, least count of vernier caliper, bearing types, difference between double helical and, uh, helical and herringbone gear, uh, friction angle, heat treatment, pressure angle, uh, gear terminology, and most importantly, casting and its types. Now, this was followed by HR round. Uh, questions were very common, uh, introduction, family background, previous internship, internship experiences and learnings, and uh, so like uh, before the HR round, they uh, there was some buffer time. So the HR ultimately told us that you can visit the factory and you can check out the machines that we built. You can check out the shop floor. You can check out the, the research pro uh, process, the research labs. And after the uh, during the HRM interview, uh, the HR asked uh, questions based on what you have seen different on Grandmaster shop floor or Grandmaster research processes uh, and uh, in some other company. So this was a pretty generic question uh, that they asked uh, that what we did in the buffer time to see how uh, we react with this question. They uh, they asked this question. So the next thing is uh, 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 like what are uh, what are your future prospects and uh, what are the internship that you did? The HR asked this, these questions. What are your future prospects? Uh, do you want to pursue any higher education? Do you want to uh, do you have idea about the uh, about uh, the restrictions and service agreement that uh, we had at Grandmaster? So uh, this was the HR round, and after clearing this round, I was uh, di directly transferred to the final round. Uh, the last round was with the dynamic CEO of Grandmaster, Mr. Samir Kirkar. Questions were asked uh, based on my hobbies and my area of interest in that company and uh, like where would I like to work. So the, my first priority was obviously uh, automation and uh, robotics. My second uh, area of interest was uh, marketing and sales. So questions related to marketing and uh, sales were uh, bombarded at me and uh, in a moment uh, I, I, I just told him that I was uh, an, a member of TEDx team, a TEDx JNC team and uh, even he was, uh, he was the one who gave a TED talk. Some situations were given based on my interest and I was asked whether how would I sell a deburring robot, uh, a robot which has a deburring tool to a customer and uh, what should be my uh, my process, what should be my strategy to go on and approach the customer for uh, selling this robot. So uh, these were some of the uh, situations that were given to me. Uh, a task was given to me to check uh, responsiveness and observation. So I completed that task. I went to sir and I told him that yes, I have done this task. Uh, now the next thing is the next thing that uh, Mr. Samir Kirkar asked me was uh, what what work I did during my internships. So was there any problem that I solved? Was there any uh, a key solution that I gave gave to the industry that I gave to the company that I was uh, working at? So I told him about that. I just uh, uh, told something that was not noteworthy about my internship. Uh, at last, I was asked to explain about my work and task performing 
performed during one uh, of the college event and uh, uh, which i managed eventually so this was uh, the last question at my interview and uh, after which we had to uh, wait for an hour and later on the results were out and i was selected for uh, uh, for this company so this was my interview experience hope you guys liked liked it and uh, please like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much thank you